So gaming laptops are meant to be bulky, they're meant to be heavy, uh, and of course, terrible battery life. And also, you don't get the kind of performance you get on your desktop. Not anymore. Well, this bad boy here from Acer, bam, the Acer Triton 7000, the Predator Triton 7000. It is super thin. That's how thin this bad boy is. You can see how it is. It is really thin. If you want to compare this to say a stack of Blu-rays, it is thinner than that. Two stacks of Blu-rays. My power bank, it's also thinner than that. It is almost as thin as the GTX 1060 from Razer. But that is something that I really like about this device. It is portable, it is light, it is something you can carry around with you, and it's got performance built in. Now in terms of ports, so you've got a plethora of ports. You've got, of course, uh, USB ports, three USB ports, uh, USB 3.0, headphone jack, you've got an Ethernet port as well, you've also got a Thunderbolt port, port on this device, and at the back you've got a plethora of uh, vents, uh, power port, um, HDMI, as well as display port. And it allows you to connect to anything you want, which is great there. Now your display on this device is a 1080p display. Um, the bezel thickness I do not like, especially for the price point of this laptop, it's 2,999. So I wish they actually had give you, given you a higher display resolution or at least thinner bezels. That is something to take note. Now when we look at the keys on this device, uh, the keyboard, the keyboard itself, using it is great. The keyboard layout and the trackpad layout is just, just makes no sense. The trackpad is on top, it's a glass trackpad, and uh, the keyboard layout is below. It's kind of odd when you want to use that. You definitely can't use it to game, and you really can't use it to do much with this laptop. That's a problem, because it's not a touch screen, the trackpad is terrible. While using it, say, on the road like I am here in the airport, it was hard to use. It was very difficult and didn't make any sense for me. So that is something that I really didn't like with this device. But when it comes to performance, this is where it shines. In terms of specs, you're looking at the QMAX, uh, the NVIDIA QMAX GTX 1080. So it's got a 1080 built into this device with um, eight gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. It's got the Intel 7th gen processor, quote core processor in there. You've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. You've got 512 NVMe in RAID 0 in terms of storage. There's a lot of storage in this device. Uh, you've got a killer Ethernet uh, graphics. Um, so all the things you need for gaming performance, and it delivers. Because you've got a GTX 1080 in here, and it's even with its thin frame, you have a device that will just basically blow anything out of water in terms of just pure raw performance. I like that. So while gaming with this, it's going to hit high uh, frame rates, you know, something like um, Call of Duty here, I was doing 80 uh, frames per second quite easily, able to enjoy the gameplay. And again, like I said, the keyboard worked using uh, uh, external mouse, that also helps, of course, improve. And I guess that's the thought process here. But it worked out very, very well. Now, you've also got some features where you can change the lighting in the game, on your keyboard. So it's, of course, it's an RGB keyboard. You can change the lighting, you can change the lighting, uh, with other aspects of the device, you can also do some overclocking. So you can actually max out that GPU. And once you max out the GPU, you can actually get a little bit more performance there. So moving from that 80 to 80, 90 frames per second, I went to up from night, I went up to 90 to about 110 frames per second uh, while playing uh, the new Call of Duty. So that is also just showing you exactly what you can do. Performance wise, I think this thing handles quite well. Now, some of you ask, what's the battery life? maybe four hours max, uh, it wasn't that great. You also have a sizable power brick, uh, which is fine, uh, but you definitely needed to enjoy uh, to use this laptop quite effectively. Uh, I would say that this is a device that is probably one generation from being the device that you want to get. The reason I say that is because you're probably gonna get slightly more better battery life. They will fix the keyboard placement and the mouse placement, take that away. Um, you also will get better performance of the graphics card as the next generation pops through. So I think all those things are there. If you truly want to pick up a gaming laptop that is light, has probably the best performance out there, this is what you need to pick up. Yes, definitely, you can go ahead and do that. We have a link for you down below. If you wanna wait, I would say wait a minute, but it is something that I do like where the path is. Yes, it's the first generation, it's priced higher. We're definitely gonna see that price drop, and I wanna see more devices like this, especially with the kind of performance that you can get. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video and also the notification squad, definitely hit that to get notified. I'm starting something new. I want to create a notification squad where I will reward uh, basically fans who basically watch my videos and hit the notification bell because 
those are the people that help me do the, what I do here. So if you have any questions about that, let me know, leave them in the comments and I'll give you some more information. Otherwise, thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.